Raider Nation, what's the deal? Once again, my name is Panama Fargo, and I'm back to y'all live with another episode of the Raider Rundown. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, all love shown is reciprocated. So check it out. Today, I want to holler about a couple different topics. Um, of course, you know, I got to holler at y'all about the Derek Carr news and updates because new things and new reports have come out. And, uh, you know, we got to talk about it and we got we to gotta get into it. I want to hear y'all opinions as well. And then also, I want to get into what's next. After we're done with this whole Derek Carr saga, what are we going to do after that? You know, uh, what, what direction should we go in? What direction do I believe the Raiders are thinking are their options? You know, so without further ado, let's get into it, man. So first things first, let's get into the main topic everybody want to talk about. Okay, Derek Carr, from what I'm hearing, is supposed to be landing in New Orleans about 325 Eastern time. Now, if you're on the West like me, you feel what I'm saying? Then I believe that's 12.35 our time. So we should know some by 3 o'clock our time, maybe 6 o'clock Eastern time. We should know some on what went down in that meeting. Okay, now remember, Derek wasn't allowed to talk to any teams until the Raiders and said team had come to an agreement on some sort of compensation. Okay, now check what Jeremy Fowler said right here. All right, thinking about it, right? That, that, your brain has to be turning now that the Raiders and the Saints have already agreed to something, okay? They've already have like an under the table handshake type of deal where they're saying, this is what we'll give you. This is what we're, this is what we're willing to give up, you know? So with that in mind, what Derek is going to go do right now, he's going to go meet that organization. He's going to go see where their head's at and if they're all on the same page. Also, they're going to see if he's willing to rework this deal. Now, that's the thing. That's the monkey wrench in the whole goddamn plan and whatever we got going on. If Derek is not willing to rework his contract, then we're pretty much we're pretty much fucked. OK, because if that's the case, then a lot of teams are going to sit there and say, well, why would we trade for you? We don't want that contract. Being honest, you know, he's he's a middle-of-the-road quarterback. There, A lot of teams aren't willing to pay a middle-of-the-road quarterback $40 million, you know? So that's going to fuck a lot of things up. Now, if Derek is willing to rework uh, rework his deal, now we can sit there and we can make something shake. You know, a lot of people I see on, on you know, social are, are saying, how the hell are the Saints going to get out of their cap space hell? Because they're about like $60 million under the cap, for real, for real. So... I mean, my response to that is there's a lot of ways to rework fucking deals. There's a lot of ways to unload, offload contracts and unload contracts and, and push contracts back into further years. You know what I mean? I believe last year they were damn near in the same position they're in now and they ended up getting under the, over the cap. You know, so in the NFL, I feel like that, that cap space shit is just an excuse for teams not to do shit. You know what I mean? That, that's how I feel. So I feel like you can do whatever the fuck you want as far as the cap space. You you can maneuver that shit. Um, so what we're looking at now and what we're hoping as Raider fans is that this man is willing to rework his contract. Also, from what I'm hearing, you know what I mean? The What what would get the deal done would be a third round pick. From what I'm hearing, and this is where, you know, this is the source right here. Um, it's, it really only take a third round pick. Uh, I was hoping for like a second, you know what I mean? I was praying, wishing for a first round pick, but that's fucking wishful thinking. I didn't really think we was going to get a first round pick. I was hoping, you know what I mean? Some team would be stupid enough, but that's hypothetical, you know? So third round pick and get it done. At that point, I mean, you know, third round pick is a third round pick and it's a win for us because at least we got something for him. You know what I mean? Um, if you can get a second round pick now, now we, now we talking, but you know, we just it, it just be a dub for us to get anything at this point. At this point, it just be a dub. Um, we're just we're just hoping to to get the cap space off. That's what I'm really worried about. Me, I'm just worried about that cap space. That cap space. Once we get that offloaded, bro, our off season is gonna look real lovely. Cause now we can go into free agency, and now we can sit in the free agency and, and really pick and select top tier fucking defensive players, you know? And that's what we've been lacking in free agency these other years. I mean, even when Gruden was here, even when Gruden was here, wasn't a lot of big money spent. And, and when there was big money spent on the defensive side of the ball, you spent it on the wrong motherfuckers. I, you know, there's a lot of motherfuckers that you gave money to 
that shouldn't have got that type of damn money, you know? So I feel like this is the year for us to finally, you know, rectify some of them fucking wrongs as far as getting real deal defensive players in here. So once again, we just, we just willing for that cap space to, to get restructured. Me personally, I don't give a fuck what it is. He can get traded, he can get cut. You know, either way, it's a, it's a win for us because we're moving on regardless. So we wasn't going to keep him anyway. So speaking of that, on to the next topic. What are we going to do after that? Um, I believe whatever move the Raiders are feel like they can make, they're seeing what's going to happen with this. So whether it will be a trade or whether it will be a February 15th cut, either way, you know, they're waiting until they can see if they can get something for Derek. Okay, now. On this channel, we've already talked about the option of Aaron Rodgers, of course. You know, we I want fucking Aaron Rodgers. I would love Aaron Rodgers. But in the event we don't get him, you know, in the event we don't, because I you never know. You never know. He said he's taking that fucking darkness retreat. Who knows what the fuck that means? So we'll we'll see, you know. And but it's good for him to get his mental health right, you know. But as Raider fans, we'll just wait and see and, and play the waiting game. We don't even know, you know, if he plans on playing football again. So, with that in mind, we just have to think ahead. We have to think smart. What else can we do if we don't get him? And, and me, if you don't get him, it's draft. It's draft or nothing. Because the other options to get are upgrades to me. And, and if you're telling me that you got rid of Derek Carr, you can't bring in somebody that's of the same talent or below the same talent. That's not going to sell this fucking fan base. Or you're telling me that your job is safe and the next year you plan on you plan on getting a top tier quarterback next year? From what I from what I'm hearing, McDaniels and Ziegler's job is not safe uh, after this year. You feel what I'm saying? So they gotta win. They gotta win this year. So if, if the plan is to win this year, the Jimmy Garoppolo, Mac Jones, uh, Jacoby Brissett, quarterback, that's not gonna fucking get it done. Okay, I don't want Jimmy. I don't want Jimmy G. And I know that's an option. And I know that that that's a backloaded option. But at the end of the day, bro, I do not want Jimmy G. That's the same shit as Derek Carr to me. Same shit. So you could have just fucking kept Derek Carr at that point. Derek Carr to me even has more arm talent than Jimmy G has. But and he's more durable than Jimmy G. So why the fuck are we replacing that? You know what I mean? Like that's that that doesn't get me excited, bro. That gets me like fuck. It's gonna be another season. You know what I mean? Like at this point, bro, we gotta upgrade, and the only way to upgrade would be through the draft. My guy in the draft is C.J. Stroud. That's I feel like the measurables work. Of course, I love. I, although if Bryce Young fail, fucking trust me, I take Bryce Young. If Bryce Young failed, trust me, I would take Bryce Young. I just do not think that he's going to be there. Even if we do trade from seven to three or some shit like that, like he, he's not going to be there. He's going to be the first quarterback taken. To me. To me. So, with that in mind, CJ Stroud's the guy. The way he operates within the Ohio State offense, and I know everybody's going to say, oh, he had a lot of fucking weapons. He had a lot of weapons. Think about it, bro. The Raiders have a lot of fucking weapons. When I was watching Ohio State, everybody, you can clown me if you want, but I'm watching Ohio State and I'm looking how he operates within that system. You know what I mean? How he would, the play action and the rollouts and getting it to the, to the midfield. You know what I mean? Uh, he had a lot of, he had a lot of great ass throws off of play action and a lot of great ass throws off of reads that I was looking at and I was like, bro, the, this motherfucker can fit in this offense like a glove, bro. And when I'm looking at the weapons that Ohio State has, I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say he's on this level. But just think about this, right? You have Marvin Harrison Jr., best wide receiver in college football. You go from that to Devontae Adams, best receiver in professional football. Come on now. You go from, I, I forget his name. I believe the tight end was Stover. Stover was great. Sover's, Sover's a good tight end, but you're going from that to Darren Waller. And I saw a lot of throws where Stroud was hitting that fucking seam to the tight end, bro. And a lot of throws on that seam, I'm like, bro, that's fucking Darren Waller he could be hitting, bro. Couple that with Hunter Renfro, this guy's tools would be perfect in this, in this fucking scheme that Josh McDaniels runs. Now, We'll see if his draft stock rises even more because you know the fucking combine is coming. And when the combine comes, bro, I mean, motherfuckers' draft stock shoot up tremendously. You know what I mean? In shorts and shirt. 
So, so we'll see. You know, but I, I believe uh, if we don't get Aaron Rodgers, then our only other option is to grow with a rook. You know, and, and see what we can do there and take them growing pains. But that's all I wanted to holler about, man. Y'all let me know. What should the Raiders do at quarterback? Talk to me below and let's holler about it, man. Once again, my name is Panama Fargo. And remember, we always keep it authentic from the clouds to the ground on the Raider Rundown.